What's going on guys, Ryan Jetta Patrol back. Another preview video, Spider-Man this time. Let's do it. That's right guys, we are back another video. I just finished the preview video for the Wolverine 1973 version from Hot Toys. So go check out that video right there if you wanna do that if you're in the Marvel thing, which I think is a pretty cool figure. Uh, and uh, today we're gonna look at the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, and we're gonna look at the Lizard Diorama base, and, and we're gonna look at a third-party Sandman figure, and a tease on the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure from Hot Toys. There's a lot to talk about here in Spider-Land, so let's get into it. Right now, let's roll. I've got photos here from the blogger photos from Hot Toys. I've also got photos from my friends over at Pop Collectibles who went to Seeger Base and Echo Base to get some photos of the actual figures. If you're one of those people who like to get things fast and not wait forever on figures, you want to get first batch releases or second batch releases, uh, Pop Collectibles link in the description along with a discount code. You've got the amazing Spider-Man 2, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, sitting right here. For whatever reason, they branded it as Amazing Spider-Man 2 rather than Spider-Man No Way Home, which leads me to believe the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man might be Spider-Man 3. I, I, he's way older, so I, I don't I don't know how that's gonna play out. And honestly, I don't care because I'm not displaying the box, I'm displaying the figure, so there we go. But here we go, Andrew Garfield head sculpt with a, 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 it's a good looking. It's a good looking expression. I think. I think. Uh, it's a serious, pondering, like broody kind of look. I kind of dig it. Um, some people said the nose is quite large. I mean, it's certainly a hot spot there for lighting purposes, and I think that might be what people are seeing. I don't. You know, I don't know. Uh, but certainly a brighter spot's gonna come forward. A darker spots go backwards, and so it looks larger. Uh, I don't know. I d don't really care. <laughs> the uh, the suit definitely looks like an improvement on the previous version we got. Although this particular figure comes with a lot less accessories than the previous version, like the jet, uh, uh, the backpack, and the uh, the hoodie, and the whole. Anyways, whatever. Um, the question is, if you have the previous version of this figure, should you get the new one? If you don't have one at all, then yes, you should just get the new one. I think. Um, but I quite uh, I quite like this thing. I want to kind of zoom in if I can, just a second. Uh, this head sculpt looks quite good. I think the hair, thankfully, sculpted hair, well, that's the thing. The hair looks like it's painted nice. The suit looks like it's painted nice. They're giving us this interesting collar, which we haven't seen from them uh, before uh, that I can remember. Uh, but they give us an interesting collar situation going on here uh, for the neck, which I, I do like. I do like that. And I like this not, they didn't give us like the fully... Um, uh, cloth, I guess, if you will, neck, like we've seen in other Spider-Man, and people have come up with like different ways to have like a skin neck, and all. that that's that's cool. I kind of dig that. Uh, we saw a different uh, take on uh, how to do this with the Miles Morales figure from Into the Spider Verse, where they had like rollover skin silicone deal that worked out pretty good. That was all right. Um, but this one looks good. He's uh, got to have you have to have the hand where you're holding the mask because they include that with every sticking figure. Um, but I think this is going to be a highly, highly posable figure. Just based on the suit materials, it looks to me, and we'll look, we'll look more on the other photos, but it looks to me very similar to like the, uh, the Scarlet Spidey suit material on the red section. The blue section is that pleathery synthetic material. Um, and it looks like the raised webbing. I think this is really going to look nice on the shelf. But we'll see. We'll see in, in the year 2095 when it's actually released. Um, I don't know. I don't know, it's one of those things, hot toys, releasing things way in the future. Um, but look at the posability of this guy. That's a good pose, by the way. And we've seen this pose a number of times with other Spider-Man people, which makes sense. Nice pose. I dig it. We're going to get some webs. That's fine. No big deal there. Um, but I, I like uh, I like this thing. I like it very much. So here's a photo of it actually at Secret Base with their spotlighting and different things they've got going on at the, uh, at the display. And you can see like the lizard diorama base down here, which I thought we were gonna get a full lizard figure. I don't know why I thought that. There was a third party person that uh, did the Doc Connors. They did like two versions. I talked about it months ago. Um, this is just as good, I think, or, uh, as far as the diorama base, we'll get into that. But having it ended the collection without having to have, I, I don't know. 
What are your thoughts? Are you going to get that out of the third party figure? Or are you going to just get Dyer on my base? If you already have the Spider-Man from uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, then maybe you just need the diorama base. That's okay. And we're going to get an Electro and we're going to get the Doc Ock and that kind of stuff. Uh, but the suit material looks good. I'm going to kind of zoom in on some of this if I can. Um, but it looks like, you see how it's bending in here, this material and the torso? That tells me it's that like thinner fabric material versus the pleathery stuff that's going in here. Just the way it's bending just looks like it's going to be somewhat posable. Uh, and uh, I, I'm I'm for it. I love the lenses. I love, love the lenses from Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. Uh, like the, the little polka dot deal. I, I just, I don't know. Something about that is really like, it, it screams Spider-Man to me. And in the comment section, you guys let me know. what Are you team Andrew? Are you team Tom Holland? Or are you team Toby? Like, which one are you as far as spider people go? Uh, let's see who wins that poll in the in the comment section. We'll maybe we'll talk about it on the next live stream. But this is... Uh, this is pretty good looking. I, I, I like it. And here we go again, another detailed shot. Again, these, these, look at this. The head sculpt, no seam, no seam. This looks like a fully sculpted head sculpt. Uh, and I very much approve. I just think it's stupid cool, man. All right, so moving on, we have this diorama base uh, that they're giving us from the lizard, and it looks so much better as far as the the, the paint applications, everything, the sculpt, than the third party figure. But that makes sense. I mean, this is a prototype deal. It's kind of one of those things, and they're not worried about joints and moving and all that kind of and proportions. They sculpted it how they wanted to, how I'm coming out of the ground. And um, I very much like this one as well. So there's a pretty cool photo of Spidey, uh, you know, in the diorama style section, uh, pose up with the uh, with the lizard. And uh, there's some more poses of him. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't want to, I guess we'll talk about this first. So I want to get into the lizard base because there's a lot, but there's a lot going on into this diorama base, uh, diorama scene. We got Doc Ock, we got uh, Green Goblin, we've got Electro, we got Lizard, but we also have, we also have uh, this guy down here. Whoops, this guy, this guy down here, which is our Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, which we know we're gonna get. It's gonna happen. There's no way they release two of the three and not the other one. Why they're teasing us with this, I don't know, but I'm very excited to see what kind of head sculpt they give us with this. I don't know. Again, comment section, Team Tom. Team Toby or Team Andrew, uh, I'm quite excited to see this thing go on. Um, and, and all of them together just look look fantastic, I think. That's a good looking display. And I like the uh, this like scaffolding diorama thing they got going on back here. I like that a lot. That's something I think you could probably end up 3D printing or just custom making yourself. I don't think it'd be terribly exciting or expensive to make. But I do like that. And I like that they've got kind of that whole final fight thing going on. Um, yeah. But the Toby, the darker blues, the different mask, the different spider symbol, or the Tom Holland, I don't know, man. Tough call. When we get some more photos of it, we'll do a proper video on it, but that that uh, that looks pretty good from the Summer Showcase. Uh, moving on to the next one, we're gonna continue just getting some more photos of this diorama lizard base. I think it looks fantastic. It's got some like electro you know, vibes going on with it, with the little accessory pieces it's got on it. And look at this thing, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I am curious about posing it though. Like where would you put this thing? I don't know. And is it something you guys are gonna be uh, wanting to pick up? I think it looks good. And if Hot Toys wants to supply us with diorama bases to go with our figures and they want to sell them separately, I'm for that. I'm, I'm totally for that. Uh, I would like to see more of them. I'd like to see some Star Wars diorama bases. Maybe some uh, some busted up roads and just different type things. And so let me know your thoughts on what kind of diorama base you'd like to see from them. They clearly will do a good job. Uh, and I don't mind paying a premium to get something that looks good. I don't mind it. It's got a, di a flight pole on there. Dig that. And this is it in person uh, at this play. And it looks pretty sick. He's got a nice wet look to him, which he should have. Yeah. I have, I have no complaints. I, I dig this very, very much. Um, and it will look good in my display eventually. But now we've got another guy who's third party. This is gonna be a custom 1-6 scale by SL Custom. And yes, I do believe it will be available at Pop Collectibles. Put a link in the description below. Uh, the Sand Fighter. 
You know, is Hot Toys going to give us this figure? We don't know. But they're taking their sweet time with Toby. Maybe they'll give us a, a diorama, another diorama base or something for this guy. That could be certainly, uh, certainly a thing. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think the... I don't know. I, I'm... I'm I'm skeptical, okay? Now, there are some things with this figure I think are a little strange, but given the characteristics of, of this fully CGI figure or character, I, I totally understand it. I'm talking about, like, the joints for where the arms meet the um, the sand, where it's like an abrupt stop, but how else would they do that? On a, like, they could do it on a sculpted piece, but not on a figure. This, I think, is pretty cool. And uh, I had the SL Custom, um, or right, so, yeah, uh, Loki, President Loki, Inexpensive figures, like 120 bucks. Great figure. I had the, um, oh, there was another one I got. Spider-Man. Got the uh, Spider-Man um, with the homemade suit from way back in the original Spider-Man. That was a good figure, too, for the price. I think it's fine. So I think this is going to be relatively inexpensive when it finally goes up. And uh, with some different paint applications, I think it could be a pretty cool figure. So we've got a single joint elbow, which is to be expected with the everything going on with this guy. I think it's pretty cool. And I don't know that we're gonna get anything else. Uh, the only thing I would think that would make this a little better for different head sculpts is like screaming, like that might be a thing. Um, but I kind of dig it. It's gonna be inexpensive. You've got some clobbering hands. You've got some bag full of money. You got to, It's gonna be an inexpensive, inexpensive figure and I think it's gonna look pretty singing cool on the display with all the other spider people so what i want to hear from you guys in the comment section below again which team are you on as far as spidey people goes and what do you think of the lizard base what do you think of this sand guy and uh what are your thoughts on the andrew garfield spider-man if you want to pre-order those you can check them out link in the description below if you haven't already subscribed we've got more videos just like this coming up as well as some posing videos and some some special little treat videos for the Patreon supporters out there. Don't worry, don't forget, we are giving away a life-size Hunter Bad Batch helmet right now, one of the Patreons at the end of the month. So if you want to check us out, Jetta Patrol, uh, sorry, patreon.com slash Jetta Patrol, do that. And as always, collect what you like. See you next time.